Hi, it's Eliana, and today I'm going to be talking about the secret space program stuff. Please do not bully anyone, demean anyone, harass anyone about their SSP experiences, testimony, just because somebody has recanted their original SSP testimony in the court of law does not mean that we have the right to go after others and bully others for what they're sharing about their own secret space program experiences. It does not give us the right to do that. People have had experiences. It does not mean they're copycatting somebody else or borrowing things from those people. My SSP experiences are completely different from this person who is telling in court deposition that they were never in the secret space program per se and that they created it all and made it up to some degree. I'm not lumped into that category. I never lied about my experiences in the SSP. I've been completely upfront and truthful about my experiences and I'm not dragging anybody out or taking anybody to court for my own issues. I don't work that way, but this stuff, I'm going to talk about this because people are being questioned, people are being put on the spot about stuff that the SSP does not exist. It exists, it's a very dark aspect. I'm going to read this out. I'm not gonna mention this person's name. I'm just going to read the information and what came out of it. Here's the thing about the good deposition. Everyone's making a big deal about him lying to his audience for around eight years about his experiences. They weren't real, that he made everything up, that he never went to space, that the beings that he contacts aren't real, that blue avians aren't real. None of his stories were real. They were creations in his mind. I've watched the deposition twice now. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Now, what about all the people in the community that supported him and based their entire story off of his fake testimony? Because I know for a fact, every single person in the SSP, in the SSP and super soldier community has in some way knowingly or inadvertently taken a lot of his fake story and weaved it into their own. No, I didn't. Don't, co don't count me in with this narrative. I never listened to Corey Good's testimony. I never took anything from it and added to my own experience. Um, and down the road in this conversation, I will read out my own comment to this stuff. I never did that. I wasn't interested in Corey's testimony. I have my own testimony that came out from hypnosis. Different acronyms, different names, different categories. It has nothing to do with Corey Good's testimony of what he did in the SSP or didn't. My own testimony is uniquely mine. And please don't tell me that it's not. And that I borrowed from somebody else or weaved it into my story. No, I did not. That's not how it went down. That's not how it worked. This person goes on to say, because I know for a fact every single person in the SSP and super soldier community, community has in some way knowingly or inadvertently taken a lot of his fake story and weaved it into their own. If you believe that, that's your own belief, not mine. What darkness happened to me happened to me. What medical issues I have because of being in the SSP out in space for a long time doing a 60 and back, that's what happened to me. That's part of my experience. And that's what I have to live with for the rest of my life. I'm a dominant predatory personality because I was in the SSP. I like exotic firearms because I was in the SSP. I like fast driving and racing cars and motorcycles because I was in the SSP. I've, I drove hover bikes and hover cars on Mars 
and I raced hover bikes on Mars. That was part of my experience and it played out and bled over into my human life. That was part of my experience. Then it, they go on to say, you can't say that you haven't because you have. Everything you know, the basis of the SSP narrative came from good. Again, knowingly or unknowingly fake or not fake doesn't matter. You should probably sit down, get honest with yourself and think, huh? I don't need to think, huh? What I experienced was very real to me. In fact, it still haunts my life how dark it was, those experiences. That's not something that you can easily unforget once you've seen it and experienced it. I wish I could, but I can't. I'm not love and light. Sometimes I go into a very negative dark spectrum of my existence, quite a bit like Wednesday Adams and the Adams Family in that new show. Very much like Wednesday, I don't feel emotion that much. I don't get romantically involved that much because I'm one scary person. Very scary, very predatory, and very dominant. I scare people sometimes with who I am and what I am. That's part of the SSP legacy. I didn't just naturally come out this way throughout my childhood, my adolescence, my middle years. This is something that got unearthed. And as my memories were coming back, that's part of the personality of what happened to me. I don't have any alters. I was never fractured, thank God. I wasn't tortured. I wasn't a slave for Planetary Corp. But I worked for Planetary Corp on Mars. And it was some very dark work sometimes. I don't claim that it was all sunshine and roses. It wasn't. My testimony is still my testimony consistently stays my testimony. I am not lying. And I won't be lying because there's nothing in it for me. <laughs> Honestly, goodness gracious. This person continues, well, if this individual created all of this in their head and made it all up like the secret space program, 20 and back, Dark Fleet, Anchar, Galactic Federation, well, Corey never really did talk about the Galactic Federation, actually. That's Elena Danon and Michael Sala. Let's put the Galactic Federation where it is. Blue Avians, which he said several times was not real and a part of his intellectual property that he created. Then maybe, just maybe, you created your entire story as well. This should be the biggest nail in the community to ever happen we should get back to researching real stories that are actually happening on the planet instead of fake, fake made up bullshit space battles that do nothing for anyone because they're made up. Riderly, it's not made up, it's real. Just because somebody says it's not real or creates lies about it, there's SSP whistleblowers going back to the 1990s with Michael Ralph, who went to Mars and who was psychically trained in the Mars program and connected with ETs and remote viewed stuff and participated in military events. His wife, Stephanie Ralph and other people used muscle testing and hypnosis to, do, to, to have a deeper look and to dig deep into his experiences. Several books was, were written about this in the 1990s and 2000s. Michael Ralph was the first. Randy Kramer is a super soldier who took a lie detector test on Gaia. And he didn't lie about his experiences. He passed his lie detector test, the polygraph test. So his experiences seem to be real. There's also Gary McKinnon who uncovered spaceship information from hacking the Pentagon stuff. Is that not real? Information about space assets and a secret space program? That's real. We're seeing a lot of UFOs and UFs engaging with the military. Where, where do those come from? 
the secret space programs, the bases on the moon and Mars. Where else are they coming from? That's not the ET stuff. That's SSP secret drones being psychically piloted by SSP assets with Neuralink implants. That's possible within the realm of possibility. Uh, and here was my response. Uh, this is what I wrote to this stuff. And I got bullied for it after. Goodness. Somebody else on Ryder Lee's um, thread here where this was written really went after me. And I'm going to read everything to you from this experience that I had. I said, my SSP testimony never came from anything, anything even remotely connected to good. All the names, acronyms, and data is what came out of hypnosis sessions. I did not feel drawn to even watching any of Good's content because I knew he was a dark Trojan horse plant by the SSP corporations. He actually was in the SSP and, and he was sent in to do exactly what he did to ruin these communities and fracture them to make us question what is real or not. Just like ED and MS are the next waves of this chapter. There is more happening here than what the simple conclusion is. Good is now backpedaling that he lied and made it up all up because he is in court and no one would even believe him if he was telling the truth about his SSP experiences. So now he has to go back to being a normie in the normal world because there's others in the world like werewolves, vampires, witches, sirens, selkie, gnomes, shapeshifters. It's not just extraterrestrials, psychics. So he is not locked up in the psych ward for being crazy and hustling people for money. Corey Good has to be normal now and belong. So nobody thinks he's crazy. That's why he recanted his testimony. When someone, when someone is made to face the sins of their bad deeds, actions, and whatever they did, and then even worse actions, they will backpedal to save their sorry asses. That is the pattern of how it usually goes. Recant the evidence and you get off scot-free. This will also happen to ED and MS. Two years from now, just watch and see. The second coming of the Anunnaki agenda is another scheme psyop that will make them a lot of money now, in the here and the now, but when the truth is revealed, it will be shown for the nasty scam that it was to begin with, because it's a dangerous scam. And it has a lot of programming going on and delusions for seeking attention and wanting to be part of something big. Careful what you wish for, or you just might get it. Engage with the phenomenon and see what the phenomenon brings you. The supernatural and the paranormal exists. And then somebody else on Ryder Lee's um, post said this, SSP is a cult, but it's a, it's a made up lie. And I responded with this, no, it's not, it's not made up. The reality of the darkness and existence of the SSP will one day come out as truth. And when it does, it's not going to be shocking when real truth is revealed because those who lived it told their truth in the beginning as their testimony. The SSP assets and experiencers who lived this are sharing their truth. Minus whoever is making something up. It's just convenient for them to get attention and money. Say whatever you want, but no one can hide from the shadows forever. Things that are hidden under the rug, secrets don't stay secrets forever. Eventually, they are revealed and they come out for the truth that it is. Or lies in this case for some, but not all. Don't bully and harass people for sharing their experiences. Even if you don't agree with it or like it, don't do it. It's low vibration. It's being a bully. Just like the other one who bullied, harassed other people for sharing their experiences. Don't do it. So this other person replied to me, 
It's a fractal of your consciousness responsible for true reptilian activation. It's equivalent to an ant in your case. You wouldn't even be able to properly, effectively, or accurately even begging to comprehend in English the true galactic hierarchy placement of human race, of the human race, in the compartment, in comparison to galactic reptilian societies, alpha draconian management and earth reptilian facilitators on all that occurs on earth. You are the type who worships fake illusions, such as being a soldier on Mars and the moon, where in fact SSP is a fraudulent concept and true custodians of our part of the galaxy don't allow humans to even piss unless prior permissions are given. Even the entire population of the United States, with all of the reverse engineered weapons, couldn't still even kill a single 6.99 density sidecar soldier. Now get back to your apartment, teach more sphere meditations, soul meditations, and how to make dandelion teas. Stay away from mature and deep topics such as these and stick to meditation videos. Buddy, you're a bully and low-hanging fruit on the totem tree pole. Who are you to say what I am and what I am not and make assumptions about me? You have no clue. Bully, harasser, and troll. That's the first thing that comes to mind in that response. And I said to this person, ah, trigger and happy human with self low value and low worth self-esteem issues, who likes to bully others and cannot spell well. Sorry to hear how pathetic you are being to others and negative. Go get your own life and don't make assumptions about me. Pathetic, low-hanging fruit, <laughs> low, I said pathetic, low-hanging vibration and low-hanging hang, fruit. I'm sorry. This makes me laugh. I said pathetic, low vibration and, and low-hanging fruit. And this person responded, yes, yes, now go back to making dandelion teas. By the way, dandelion tea is good for lowering cholesterol, cholesterol and also diabetes. It helps with lowering the cholesterol levels. It's good for the heart and managing certain types of diabetes and preventing diabetes. And I responded to this person, go back to your own life. It does not look good for you trying to make others look miserable small and feeling bad about themselves reptile bullying tactics on your trolling deeds indeed honestly don't bully people this is just examples of these conversations going around in terms of what's going on in the ssp stuff and communities consider that people are having experiences people are having contacts with ets People are seeing UFOs. People are going off world. Nobody's holding anybody back from anything, honestly. But, you know, when low hang, when the low hanging fruit bullies attack others for all of this, it is just shaming people for their experiences. And I'm sorry that I was just laughing, but this is ridiculous going around attacking others for expressing themselves. Yes, unfortunately, one person in this community has done a bad thing, has swindled people for their money, has lied about testimony, has borrowed other people's testimony, but it does not mean that we're given a free ticket to just go around attacking others for sharing their experiences and testimony. No, you're not given the right to just go around bullying others for what they say, think, or feel, or experience. Big no-no, don't do it, like what I witnessed in this conversation topic, and there's about 83 comments on all of this. So, and people are, and unfortunately, 
people are saying, I remember you saying this and others like, that's not what I said. Don't take it out of context. So sometimes there's miscommunication in what was actually said by somebody in their testimony and what others write about them later. It's just a sorry excuse for bad-mouthing others in these communities. It's low vibration, it's low hanging fruit. And that phrase I've been using a lot. It's like a circus freak show with clowns, with painted clowns. I'm sorry, I feel bad for people in this community going through this. And I'm part of this community. That's why I'm talking about this. In the space news drama, the latest and greatest, don't shame people. Don't accuse people of things that you think they are or what they did. If you don't know better, don't do it. It's bad energy. It's very negative. It's low vibration hanging fruit at its worst. Don't do it. I'm sorry for the dark humor and the sarcasm, but that's how I'm feeling right now. And this is what's taking place in shape. I took zero info from good. I never did. Never took info from good. Zero. Not a zilch. Zippo. Never did it. Never believed him. Thought he was a shyster from the get-go. Had visions of the future where he would go after me, harass me, bully me, and I would end up trying to get him off my ass for the last two years from 2016 to 2018. Yeah, I got rid of him without anybody suing me because I never took anything from him and I never will. I have my own testimony. I have my own experiences that has stayed consistent and the same. I don't go around embellishing space dramas into my stuff. I don't need to. I don't need that kind of attention seeking and that kind of environment, toxic environment to be in that. No, thank you. I'm just doing my own stuff. And if I want to make dandelion tea, okay. It has health purposes for health improvement. It is not woo woo. So that bullier and troll actually took a look at some of my videos from the past. How else would they know that talk about dandelion tea as a health derivative? This, this is just, come on guys, it can be so much better than this. And you know, there's pictures of UFOs flying above certain experiencers' houses, TR-3Bs and other stuff, triangular craft. And if it has a heat signature, there's likely something above your house that's abducting you or taking you or visiting you. Anything with a heat signature in a photo, like green, yellow, orange, and red, that's something that exists in reality. It's called thermal imaging. It's called the infrared spectrum. People use those techniques to in UFO cases or in abductions or if there's any type of creatures around or beings. That, that provides evidence. If you photograph something and don't Photoshop it, don't, don't change it in any way, shape or form, leave it as the original. You can check with thermal imaging to see that something is physically there. That's the hallmark standard of UFO research out in the field, investigations of seeing what's out there with this phenomenon, the supernatural and the paranormal. It, it, it's part of reality. We're more than just 3D now. There's things outside of 3D that happens in the paranormal and the supernatural spectrum. And that includes the secret space programs on the moon and Mars. Underneath our own feet in inner earth dumb spaces. There's so much going on. It's part of the experience now. This is something else that I said in another comment to somebody totally different, had nothing to do with Ryder, Ryder Lee's stuff. I said, I will never recant my SSP testimony because it was real and happened, no matter if people think I am delusional, delusional or not. What I was trained to do is to be a ruthless predator 
and have the ability to mind control others with the abilities that I have. That's what I was trained to do. It's not what I do now, but that was the training and I had to resist the training. That's the kind of training you get in these dark programs. And people, don't be mean to anybody when they're telling you truthfully what happened to them. Don't be mean about it. As well as being voracious, collecting and processing information with the Neuralink implants, even with them gone, I am still voracious for collecting information and investigating things. I, I come at things from an investigational and journal journalistic perspective at this time. Hence boundaries and self-control against temptation, so I do not go down a road of self-destruction and a dark path. That is the legacy the SSP left me with. Plus now, with a bunch of exotic semi-automatic rifles that somebody wants to ban. And um, I'll have to face that reality too. So basically, I am now turning more into of an investigative journalist and being a storyteller. But some stories need to basically be told and some don't need to be told. So I'm having boundaries. I'm having connection with discovery layer, with discovery process. Um, but I honestly share my truth always. I don't sugarcoat things. I don't hide things. I don't manipulate things. This is a comment I sent to somebody today as part of what we're experiencing in general society. So that's honestly what was going on. And I shared it with them and the screenshots of all those other comments from Ryder Lee. So that's me in a nutshell. I'm not hiding who I am. Thank you so much and namaste.